What's up again, YouTube? It's me. You know who I am. Mr. Charlie Black. Talking about reparations in the Negro this time. Slave mentality. Um, what it means to me. How it affects people interacting in the United States of America today. And someone brought up a good point. They were like, you know, there has to be a mentality change with black people in the United States of America. And I look back to when Barack Obama was running for president and no one took him seriously. All kinds of jokes were being made about how he would never make it very far. And like the news has properly documented, it wasn't until he won the caucuses, in, um, or the Iowa caucus rather, that, sorry I got a text message here, but it wasn't until he won the Iowa caucus that black people began to take him more seriously as a formidable candidate. And it was because of, I think, the slave mentality that is in us. And some people who are not black, and I, and I get this often, so this is from my experience that I'm speaking from. Um, some people who are not black say, well, why don't you just change the way that you think? Why do black people think that they don't have the same opportunities? If you're not black, you won't understand. And you have to respect that. Because because of the background, because of someone's culture, race, whatever you want to call it, there are certain things that we experience that you will not, and vice versa, I'm sure, the other way around. But when it comes to speaking about issues and mentality and the changes that people can make, you can't necessarily speak from, from that place, from that, how, how can I say it, genuine place if you are not of the same people. And this is one of those things where, as black people, we experience a lot of what's the word for it? Not only discrimination, not just injustice, but discouraging remarks being hurled at us, telling us that we cannot do things. And this comes not only from outside, from external people, not from people of other races or people from higher up, so to speak, um, telling us that we cannot do certain things, like become president of the United States of America. It also comes from within, because this, this has trickled down from the people that they've received it from. And our parents live at a different time. People have to remember that. A lot of parents I know, you know, a lot of parents at least that are parents of children my age were born in the 50s and 60s and at times where there was so much turmoil in the United States of America. So that's one parent away. Fast forward up until now where people have more rights, more liberties, more freedom. We've made advances that are not recognized by the people of the generation beforehand. And so the information that they give to us is with caution because they know the, the capabilities of people in, in high institutions of government. Um, with that said, I think that it's definitely slave mentality that impacts a lot of the way that people think about themselves. A lot of the way people think that black people are kind of temporary here. Slave mentality in the sense that we think that we've always been controlled. Um, this kind of crosses over and gets into to nigger mentality, which I will be doing another video on. But even thinking that because of your features, you are inferior. Thinking that because of the country that you come from and all you know about it being primitive, because of that, you are you are supposed to be subservient to the person next to you because they are a fair skin have more narrow or smaller features I don't believe in that I'm one person that won't necessarily take this like mentality now could I a year ago if you would have asked me is it a possibility that we could have a black president I would have answered yes just not right now I'm an optimist but I'm also a realist and I was just looking at the situation as as it laid down Barack Obama's situation when he ran for president was unique. And I'm not going to make him choose sides. He's half black, he's half white. Now, some people may not draw this this point, but what if Barack Obama had been fully black? Because a lot of the issues that people had with Barack Obama surrounded his religion. Surrounded him being quote unquote anti-white and I know I've done a video on it before search my channel and find it when they interview people from Ohio I believe it was who actually thought that Barack Obama was half or, or sorry was not half white was anti-white if Barack Obama had been had come from two black parents how much of these rumors would have stuck 
I, I just I, I, I can't imagine it. And certain people don't want to focus on that because he's been elected and it is here now. But the next person who is going to take that baton and, 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 and try to leap and, and across the finish line, what are their struggles going to be if they come from two black parents? We, we don't know until we cross that, that path again. And I don't know how soon it is going to be before we do cross it again. Um, but the slave mentality definitely keeps people from recognizing, I think, their greatness. It was never my goal or intent growing up or even now to become better than people who are not black or to put black people on a pedestal where I consider them better than people who are not of the same cultural race. I don't, I don't do that. It's about equality. I know that there are certain things as a black person that I can attain, features, other things like that, that people of other races will not have. And with that said, that does not make me better. It makes me unique to my own. We can't compare apples and oranges. Certain people here that live in the United States of America put themselves in that slave mentality in the sense that they're still in, in the fields, in the sense that they're still in that box where they feel that they can only attain so much before another hurdle comes that they're unable to cross. And it has to do with a lot of factors, not only just the outside factors, people telling them this. But it has to do with the inside factors and what you feel like you can believe. No does not mean that you should put a halt to all of your effort and your progress. No just means no for that one person at that one time, that one place. It means that if you're trying to get to a certain point, which I, I believe that we all are, that you've tried this way, that didn't work. So what you got to do is you got to go back and come from the other way around and just keep trying until you get to that point. That's what I feel. But stay tuned. Next video is going to be on nigger mentality. Keep watching.